when I was in hair school, I was going through an existential crisis and I decided to chop all my hair off. I had super long hair and I took it all the way angled like this and it had little short layers in the back. I instantly regretted it. I looked in the mirror and I did not feel like myself whatsoever. In the beginning stages, I would actually get so frustrated with the whole process that I'd end up cutting it again. And it was like this never ending cycle of, I'm gonna grow my hair out, now I'm gonna cut it, now I'm gonna grow my hair out, now I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna share with you all my tips and tricks, I have five of them today, about growing your hair out. Tip number one, invest in good hair care. Not just any hair care, hair care that was specifically recommended for you and your hair goals. Melu is really great because it's an anti-breakage sh shampoo. So it's going to add the elasticity back into your hair, which is actually going to keep it from snapping. Tip number two, routine trimmings. I know guys, we hate cutting our hair. We hate it, especially when we're trying to grow it out. But trimmings are so important. It actually sends signals to your scalp to make it grow. Number three, use a heat protectant. Heat is actually one of the biggest reasons our hair gets split ends to begin with, gets damaged. And so by preventing the damage, you are making it so you don't have to trim as much. My absolute heat, favorite heat protectant is Melu Hair Shield. Number four, you've got to start taking care of your body from the inside out. I can always tell when my guests come in and they're actually struggling to get the nutrition they need. Their hair is brittle, it breaks off quicker, it's dry and dull, there's no shine to it. Definitely wanna make sure you're eating foods that are high in protein, getting lots of those good omega-3s, and most importantly, taking your vitamins. Number five, this is my most favorite one get extensions. Extensions are life-changing. Give you the opportunity to have your cake and eat it too. Have the length you want, but also give your hair the break to allow your natural hair to start growing, stop breaking, and finally get you to where you need to be. Many of my guests start out with two rows, two and a half rows, somewhere in between there, and then as their hair grows with their extensions, we're actually able to move them down where they don't need to have as many rows. They're able to go down to just one row for thickness or some all together are like, hey, I finally reached my goal. Actually, I think I'm just gonna rock my natural hair. And that is ultimately my goal. Whichever route you choose to go with your hair journey, we are here to support you at Texture and Sage. 